Good afternoon, my name is Tyler Cantrell. I am a Precision Ag Specialist for Greenway Equipment. Today we wanted to do a video installation of an Autotrack Universal 300 on a 1982 John Deere 4040. So if we come over here, we can see uh, kind of the hardware we're gonna be using today. So first things first, this is our Autotrack Universal 300. Uh, we like to refer to them as ATU 300 for short. Uh, we will install this and then we've got, so that's, that's our, one of our main components. And then we have to have a Starfire receiver. This is gonna get our satellite signal from the GPS. And then we've got our display that will run the auto track function itself. And then we will have our harness that'll connect everything together. And then various mounting brackets to, to get all of this mounted up in the tractor cab nice and neat. Um, so that way we can use the auto track. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna remove our old steering wheel. So now that we have the steering wheel removed in our John Deere 4040, we uh, can mount our ATU into the tractor. And so now we'll just slide this ATU directly onto the steering column, making sure to get it lined up appropriately. And then it'll slide down and you'll feel it kind of lock in place down there. So after we get all that installed, we'll simply pop our cap on. So the next thing we wanna do is install our mounting bracket for our Starfire receiver. So this will mount directly across the top of the cab and our receiver will mount right on top and then we'll plug into it with our harness uh, momentarily. Okay, so we are now on top of the tractor and we are going to mount our receiver mounting bracket directly to the top of the cab using our existing bolt holes. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mount our Starfire 6000 receiver and we want to have this indi indication light facing forward. So we'll slide this down into the back of our bracket and it simply simply locks in place on the front of that bracket. Okay, so the next thing we wanna do is mount our display. So this is a 4240 universal display and we've got a bracket mounted on the back of it. And we've simply drilled a hole in the uh, window frame here and we're just gonna bolt this bracket directly uh, to the window frame. So the first thing we wanna do is uh, get power to our harness. So we're gonna run this straight to the battery. We're gonna make sure our uh, switch is in the off position and we're gonna run and get power to our harness straight to the battery. So after we hook our harness to the battery, we are going to run our plug to the Starfire receiver. So next we have our plug that is going to tie right into the back of our 4240 universal display. After that, we have the harness for the ATU 300 itself and that'll plug right in to our ATU 300. So now all we have left is to plug in our Starfire 6000 receiver and after that, all we need to do now is tidy up the wires and we're ready to go to the field and try it out. 